Hello and what is going on you guys, it is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today, after a long week off, I bring you guys loot from 1000 Seracnus. Released into the game July 4th, 2019, this is still a relatively new boss. And I was surprised that not many people have made loot videos on this boss before. So first things first, my gear choice for this video. I did go with a basic full Carol setup at first and then shortly after that I did swap the Carol skirt for Bando's task sets for that extra strength bonus. It did help me out much more over time, so I do recommend a little bit of Bando's if you can't afford it, uh, but just make sure that you bring a Carol's top or something that's going to be able to deflect some magic attacks, and I will explain why later on in the video. For the weapon choice, since Arachnus is weak to crush, I did go with the Abyssal Bludgeon. I could have used the Scythe for this video, but I wanted to make sure that I would make as much profit as possible, so using a Bludgeon saved me a ton compared to what a Scythe would have cost me with all the Blood Runes and whatnot. And the inventory layout also changed a little bit over time. At first I thought that Sarah Bruise would be a pretty good idea, and then I realized it just kind of cuts down on the profit as well. So I went with four super restores, one super combat, and then of course just anglerfish for my food. Now as it goes for the rune pouch, I wouldn't say it's necessary, but I did think bringing vengeance would be a good idea, just in case I messed up on one of the prayer switches and took some damage. At least then the vengeance would give back some of that damage to Seracnus if I got hit or something. But again, it's not necessary to bring that, it just speeds up the kill a little bit in my opinion. Now your choice of a special attack weapon is completely up to you. If neither of your two weapons are able to cut through webs though, make sure to bring at least a knife because there is a lot of webs that you have to cut through in order to reach this boss room. I was just bringing dragon claws and luckily they are pretty pointy so I was able to cut through all the webs that uh, you do have to go through in order to get back and forth when you're banking. Also highly recommend an imbued heart if you can't afford one. The reason for this as well as the carol setup is because while you're fighting Seracnus there is multiple spiders that do spawn during the fight, and some of them do use a magic based attack which does seem to be pretty accurate and hits you a lot, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but if you do have a higher magic level, you seem to take less damage from a magic based attack, so therefore the imbued heart plus the carol's top really did come in handy when having to deal with all those spawns. And for those of you who enjoy boss slayer tasks, Seracnus is considered to be a spider boss assigned by Duradel, Neve, Terrell, and Konar. You do receive 430 slayer X XP per kill, and if you are a lower level and you're afraid that you might die, luckily for you, you can always bring a friend or a team with you since this is a multi-combat area, and your kills will definitely speed up if that's the case. Another tip for faster kills, which is something that I didn't actually do, uh, the spawn time is 30 seconds per kill on Seracnus, so after every single kill, you can just instant hop worlds and just start right away on the next one as soon as you finish your last one, but you might accidentally crash someone and that can get annoying, so that hopping option is of course just kind of up to you and how efficient you really want to be. And speaking of efficiency, if you guys are curious as to why sometimes in these clips the graphics may be a little bit more HD than clips before or after it, it is because I was using rune light on and off during this video. Since I got so many clue scrolls, elite, and hards, you know, rune light was almost absolutely necessary to do those clues much quicker than I usually would have. But towards the halfway point of the video, I just switched back to the normal client. The way I record with Camtasia, it's a little confusing to explain. I just always seem to misclick the client itself and drag it somewhere else and then my aspect ratio gets all messed up and this actually ended up being like a 52 clip video just because I kept messing up so many different uh, clips. So yeah, don't mind me, I will try to master it eventually but uh, nevertheless, I do hope you guys notice the difference in this video. And two side notes that are worth mentioning is the first 500 kills were all live streamed on Twitch so don't mind these God Sword clips. This guy, good friend of mine, just wanted to do a giveaway for my stream just figured it'd be a neat little clip in the video. And the other side note being that I did actually get an XP milestone, which I rarely do get in this loot series, and that, of course, being 100 million strength XP. Pretty much all gathered from PVMing and a little bit of nightmare zoning through the years. Yeah, we are officially halfway towards our first ever 200 mil on this account. Whether it'll be strength, range, or HP, I'm not too sure which will be first, but it was fitting to get that just around 200 KC overall. And also, a fun fact, a pretty sad fact, actually, I did start this video at 5kc, and I actually ended it at 1000kc. You see, that's the problem when you have a bad memory and you take too long on a loot video. You forget things like that. So yeah, when you guys get to the very end of the video and you see that I ended it at 1000 kills, I guess you could technically say that was 995kc. But don't worry, don't worry, I did kill 5 more, and uh, I 
didn't really make much of a difference. So there's kind of a spoiler alert there that, you know, not every video can be 100% perfect. I do have my flaws. So getting back on track here, you know, there is a decent amount of people that do kill this boss. I did see a lot of Iron Men and a lot of lower levels around the combats of 80 to 100. So you don't have to be maxed or have high budget gear, especially when I saw people bringing anything from like a leaf bladed battle axe to a cudgel to an elder maul, god sword, really so many different weapons that you can use here. No matter what your budget is, since her weakness is crush, really gives you a lot more options than usual bosses do. And I just want to give another shout out to Rune Light. You know, this was the very first puzzle box that I did on the Rune Light client, and I do believe that this puzzle box took me less than eight seconds. Usually it would take me anywhere from, I'd say, three to six minutes. So yeah, truly remarkable. <laughs> so the drop table of this boss is definitely interesting. As I'm sure you've seen by now, I was getting tons of clue scrolls, with the rate of the hard clue being 1 in 40 and the rate of the elite being 1 in 60. I did do every single elite that I got, and I almost did every single hard as well, but I did fall a little short on the hard clues just because this video is taking so long to do. I think I just ended up matching the elites and the hards, and I ended up getting 11 hard caskets and 11 elite caskets. So nevertheless, at least we get a nice comparison from both of those casket tiers. And other than the clue scrolls, you can expect a lot of gems. Luckily, they are noted, as well as a lot of ores, a little bit of seeds, great amount of coins, anywhere from 17 to 25k. Can't forget about the high tier runes and nice alchemals that do add up. For example, the rune plate body, the rune two hander, noted battle stabs, which is really good for Iron Man accounts as well. And the rare drop table is pretty interesting. I mean, the valuable rares would definitely be the uh, Seracnus cudgel with a drop rate of 1 in 384 and a current grand exchange price of 1. 1.7 mil this is the most expensive thing that you can get from this boss as of right now and a fun fact about the cudgel is that it's actually going for much more than 1.7 mil this is because of yesterday's new update featuring the nightmare boss that boss is actually also weak to crush so the cudgels apparently used for that boss as well which made the price just skyrocket so it looks like i chose a pretty good time to make this seracnus video and for those wondering when loot from 1000 nightmare is gonna be hate to break it to you guys but i gotta go charge 25,000 glories and then plant 100,000 mithril seeds, and then I plan on doing 1,000 corporal beasts, so I'll get back to you in like a month, but yeah, don't worry, that video will happen over time. We got all the time in the world, after all. Other rares, though, including the Jar of Eyes, which is 1 in 2,000, does have a price of about 1 million, and of course, the main rare of them all, the main goal for this video would be the Sriracha, also known as the Pet, which is 1 in 3,000. Now, ironically, the very first loot video in this series was actually loot from 1,000 Venonatus, which is the only other spider boss in the game, and of course it can be found in the wilderness. The drop table on that spider is so much more profitable than this one, and unfortunately in that video I did not get the spider pet that I wanted, so I am hoping in this video I can redeem myself and finally get a spider pet in my name, but we will see. No luck yet. And speaking of luck though, the tables did turn with our very first rare drop, the Seracnus Cudgel, and again if I am mispronouncing any of these words, I really do apologize. I know that can get annoying. But yeah, 673 kills and and as I mentioned before, this was much more than 1.7 mil. Luckily, I did record selling it, so you guys will see the actual number that I did get for it. But yeah, nonetheless, it was a pretty cool drop to get, especially seeing it on the ground for the first time. And some other facts about Seracnus in general, you know, it is the mother of the temple spiders, which you guys will actually be seeing loot from 3,000 temple spiders in just a few days from now. And of course, the temple spiders and Seracnus herself all can be found in the Forthos dungeon. And Seracnus specifically can be found in the former burial tomb, south of the spider den. And if you do happen to accidentally leave the lair while killing Seracnus, she will rejuvenate all of her health, so make sure not to do that. There is one really cool drop that I did like on this drop table, and that is the giant egg sack. This giant egg sack is 1 in 20, and it is valued at 27k in the GE, but it actually sells for 84k. And the reason it sells for 84k is because luckily this sack holds 100 red spider eggs, and since these spider eggs are used to make super restores, they are a pretty good drop to get especially for Iron Man accounts. And the reason that I didn't touch too much on the Grubby Key drop is because I am actually working on a video in the far future just about Grubby Keys, so you guys will hear a lot about those in the future. And after a long three weeks, here we are. Loot from 1000 Seracnus has been completed, or at least so I had thought. Again, I have to kill five more, uh, but don't mind that. We didn't get the pet or anything in those five kills, kind of a spoiler. I think we made like 106k between those five kills, so once we 
basically sell all these items on the grand exchange because the price check is one number and the grand exchange price is a different number we're just going to add an additional 106k and that will give us the exact number all right so let's get this started enough rambling so we have all of the runes the ores the gems all the alkables and as well as 13 crystal keys over 1000 red dragon hides the very first price check coming out to be just about 23.8 mil but we will go ahead and round up to 23.9 now we have the second price check you can expect just over 1 million coins from 1000 seracnus at least and this was the seeds as well as the herbs all these items coming out to be just about 8.2 mil so just based on the price check numbers we are looking at a total of 32.1 million and at this point i did decide to go sell everything in the grand exchange to see just how much i made exactly and i did decide to keep all the pages that i did receive from the spider they are valued at just about 1k each you can trade them in but i think i'm just going to keep those for now you know i was collecting them from the undead druid videos so we'll see what i do with those in the future so as you can see the giant egg sack although valued at 27k it does sell for 86k a piece so that is a really good drop that you can expect to get here and the cudgel although i put it in for 1.5 mil did sell for 3.7 mil that was much higher than i expected and again i do think this is just because of the update yesterday just had good timing i guess so that was a nice improvement on the price check you know i was doing a giveaway for you guys if you checked out my latest youtube post i uh, was in walmart one day i go there quite a bit it. I was bored, so I bought a three-month RuneScape membership card, so I figured whoever was the closest to guess the exact number that I made from all of these 1,000 Seracnus kills, I would just give you that membership card. And over 2,000 people did post their guesses, and, uh, you know, obviously that's why I had to kill those extra five to make sure I get the exact number. Now, this number does not include the losses that we did take on supplies, which was just about 11.9 mil, rounded up to about 12 mil, and it didn't include the loot that we got from the clue scrolls as well. This was just the Seracnus loot. So before we open up the clues, if you guessed 36,566,311 or something close to it, then congratulations, you have won. We will get to that in just one second. Opening all these hard clues, you know, haven't really seen too many rewards above 100k. Always slacking on the clue scrolls. I tell you, one of these days, one of these videos, we will get third age, but looks like we got absolutely nothing from the hard clues. So now let's go ahead and open 11 elite clue scrolls, see what we can get from that. Looks like every reward so far has been over 140k so at least we're getting something consistent did also get a master clue but i'm gonna hold that for my loot from 100 masters which you guys will hopefully see in the future far future i did actually get a mimic chest as well which is the second time that i've gotten this on this account and i was rewarded with unfortunately no third age but an extra 600 death runes that really helped out that clue and looking at all of the other caskets you know i did manage to get a ranger's tunic leg which was like 600k as well as a fancy red hat which was about 250k definitely made just about three mil total from all those clue scrolls that we did open so that wasn't too bad i mean that will obviously help kind of take care of the supply costs at least a little bit so 36.5 mil in seracnus loot another three to four mil in clue scroll loot and 12 mil spent on supplies overall averaging just about 35 to 40 kills per hour not sure this is the most profitable boss in the world especially depending on what uh, weapon you use but it is pretty simple it does come with a pet and it's different so needless to say i did enjoy this at times not the whole time but uh, at some times and now it is time to see if anyone guessed close to the overall number 36.5 million let's go check out the comment section all right so i had to fast forward this next part because 2600 comments was quite a bit but thanks to control f i can tell you guys that there were six people who were close ryan v travis ben justin kim we them boys rk and the wolf you guys were all pretty close. You all guessed around 36.5 mil. Closest one who actually got it was a guy named Travis Ben. He guessed just about 5.8k away. And the person who was in second was The Wolf, who guessed 6k away. So the winner of the three months of membership is Travis Ben. Congratulations, you will be contacted shortly. And yeah, guys, I really do appreciate you watching the video. I'll see if I can't do that uh, more in the future with some different price checks. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for your continued support. I will see you in a few days with a new upload. Until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.